What's up, guys? It's Bill. Uh, yeah. Mood's kind of different because, you know, I'm not making a video about, like, doing anything super awesome. I actually just dropped out of college again. I dropped out of the prep school for the academy. I'm actually sitting up in the cadet chapel, too. And also, if I'm whispering, don't mind because, you know, I'm in a holy place, so I'm trying not to be so loud, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I made a list of what's been going on, you know, where I've been and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, I went to the Air Force Academy prep school in hopes of becoming an astronaut. So, you know, I remember I was in tech school, right? And uh, I was, you know, looking up ways. I just, I just saw, actually, I just saw a flyer, you know, randomly sitting around in the friggin' uh, out in the, the triangle back when I was in Mississippi. And uh, there was a flyer saying, enlisted people can apply to the academy. I was like, what? Like, is that even possible? Like, I didn't know that was possible. So then I actually went back to my room and I looked like I looked at it again and I like I started tearing up. I was like, holy crap, man, this is like a this is a dream come true. Like this is this is actually possible. Like, wow, I can actually go to the academy. And I remember when I was 17, I, I started the application, but then I saw the acceptance rate and I was like, nope, nope. Turned right back around, never applied to never applied for it again until I turned 20. So uh, here I am, 22, and uh, I did a semester at the prep school, but I ended up dropping out. So uh, the reason why I dropped out was because of academic failure. So I only passed one English class. No, no, no. I passed all my English classes, and I only passed one math class, and then I failed everything else. So I failed like trig, and like so, like all my other science classes and uh yeah that it was pretty hard so like that was like the hardest thing i had to do academic wise like it was it was one humanities class and then after that it was uh it was pretty much all stem and then i had to go to basic training again that sucked it was like three weeks it was only like three weeks and we were getting you know yelled at by like seniors rising seniors at the at the actual academy and uh yeah, that was pretty lame. It was a lot of running and like getting yelled at. Like, you know, I had to go through two basic trainings and then a semester of like science stuff. And then I ended up dropping out because I wasn't keeping up with the classes. And uh, throughout my time there, like my self-esteem was like, just like on a friggin' shoestring, dude. Like. Everybody there is like really, a lot of people there are really smart, like even at the prep school. Prep schools, like you don't score as high as, you know, the people who go directly into the academy. So uh, a lot of people there, like like my roommate, he was a good dude, but like he, uh, like he would barely study. Like I, I would be like staying up till like one, two, trying to like do the homework, trying to keep up. And then my roommate, like he would go to sleep at like nine o'clock every night. But like he would get like A's on his math and science classes, so I was like, dang man, like, yeah, I I just, I just felt really bad while I was there, but uh, yeah, uh, it it was tough, like academically, like mentally, and uh, apparently, long story short, uh, one of my last moments there, the teacher told me, uh, or I had to have an arc meeting because my grades were so low. And the day before my ARC meeting, one of my teachers, one of my math teachers tells me I have the lowest GPA in the whole school. And again, mind you, my self-esteem is already, I'm already like trying to like grind on my self-esteem. Like Tony Hawk, remember Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3? Where you have to like keep your, the gauge in the middle of the, uh, uh, whatever you call it, the, uh, the grind meter. Yeah, like I was like doing that the whole time. And then once she said that, I fell right off. So then I had the ARC meeting the next day and I had to talk to the dean, the commander. I had to talk to like like 12 leader, like leadership of the school, uh, 12 people leadership. And, uh, you know, I, I just broke down and I just gave up. And uh, it's crazy because I growing up, I never got backed up. I had decent grades. I had like a three point something. But then by the end of my academy ordeal, I had a 1.4 
cumulative GPA and then uh, a, uh, what is it? Oh, I had, I had below a one the second quarter of my time there. And I feel like a lot of it wasn't just like, I'm like, I'm too stupid to learn it, even though I did feel too stupid the whole time I was there. But a lot of it was just like, I just gave up. I mentally just gave up. And it's sad because like, I was like, all my life, I was like, oh, that's not going to be me. If I heard somebody get like a one point something on GPA, I'm like, oh, he's lazy. He's this. But then when it's actually you, it's like, dang, it's tough, man. So that's why I haven't been uploading videos. You know, I've been just trying to survive, you know, being at school. And I ended up dropping out. Um, I was there for five months, and then the time before that, I was Oklahoma. I was in Oklahoma, working on my package to get into the school. So I've, I was working really hard the past couple years trying to, you know, make that dream of becoming an astronaut, you know, um, come true. And uh, you know, I, uh, the reason why I'm saying all this is because uh, we all have to go through failure. Um, it sucks. I hate it. You know, I've been stuck here for like four months, three months, going, yeah, going on four months, uh, you know, just I'm just because, you know, I'm enlisted. So, you know, they got to send me, I got to wait for my next base. But uh, it sucks, man. Like you're sitting here and you're like, dang, for a while, I'm like, uh, I, I can't be successful anywhere because, you know, I, just, I can't believe I just quit from a school that I didn't even think I could get into when I was 17. And... Um, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's tough, dude. It's, it's some crazy crap. Um, but all in all, though, like, it's a learning experience. Like, even though I fit, this is the biggest failure I've ever had in my life, I'm still, I still want to be a pilot. I still want to go to school. I still want to get the degree. I still want to become or just advance in my career, uh, in the career that I have now that I, you know, that I'm trying to work on. But uh, of course, we all got to go through rough patches. And uh, dang, man, like, I feel so bad because, like, I haven't been making, like, like art videos or uh, music videos or anything like that for you guys. So uh, I'm not saying when I'm going to make those videos again. Uh, but just know that it's not over. You know, I'm still, I'm still alive. TVWSP is still up in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's all in there. It's just, uh, again, I've, been, I've just been trying to advance in my career. But, uh, yeah, that's where I've been. Uh, I miss you guys a lot. I'll be making videos, uh, different videos again. You know, it's been a while since I made an actual uh, vlog and whatnot. But uh, I'll be back soon trying to make uh, uh, some more music for you guys or something. I don't know, whatever I can come up with. But I'm just trying to get through this patch right now. I'm moving to Louisiana, so that should be cool. But um, anyway, hope you guys are doing good. I'll talk to y'all soon. TVWSP, bye.